Euzu billahi mineşşeytanirracim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ve men ahsenu dinen mimmen esleme vecehu lillahi ve huve muhsin. Ve tabe'a millete İbrahim'e hanife. Ve tekhazallahu İbrahim'e halile. And who could be of better faith than he who surrenders his whole being unto God and is a doer of good withal and follows the creed of Abraham, who turned away from all that is false, seeing that God exalted Abraham with his law. And who could be of a better belief than he who gives in his whole being unto Allah and is a doer of good Uh, with all good uh, moreover and follows the uh, faith of Abraham who turned away from all that is false seeing that God exalted uh, God aggrandized Abraham with his law explanation 144 literary chose Abraham to be his beloved friend Khalil in Arabic verse number 126 وَلِلَّهِ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ وَكَانَ اللَّهُ بِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ مُحِيطًا For unto God belongs all that is in the heavens and all that is on earth. And indeed God encompasses everything. Uh, for unto Allah uh, belongs everything uh, in the heavens, in the skies and all that is on earth in this world. And really God surrounds everything. Verse number 127 وَيَسْتَفْتُونَكَ فِي النِّسَاءِ قُلِ اللَّهُ يُفْتِيكُمْ فِيهِنَّ وَمَا يُتْلَى عَلَيْكُمْ فِي الْكِتَابِ فِي يَتَامَ النِّسَاءِ فِي يَتَامَ فِي يَتَامَ النِّسَاءِ اللَّاتِي لَا تُؤْتُوهُنَّ مَا كُتِبَ لَهُنَّ وَتَرْغَبُونَ أَن تَنكِحُوهُنَّ وَالْمُسْتَضْعَفِينَ مِنَ ال... مِنَ الْوَالِدَانِ من الولدان وأن تقوموا لليتامى بالقسط وما تفعلوا من خير فإن الله كان به عليما And they will ask thee to enlighten them about the laws concerning women. Say, God himself enlightens you about the laws concerning them. For his will is shown in what is being conveyed unto you through this divine writ about orphan women in your charge to whom because you yourselves may be desirous of marrying them you do not give that which has been ordained for them and about helpless children and about your duty to treat orphans with equity and whatever good you, you may do behold god has indeed full knowledge of who um, full knowledge thereof and they will ask you to inform them about the laws related to women say Allah himself informs you about the laws related to them women for his will is shown in what is being explained unto you uh, explained unto you uh, through this divine scripture about orphan women in your charge to whom because you yourselves may be willing of marrying them you do not give that which has been ordered for them and about helpless children poor children and about your task to treat orphans with justice and whatever good you may do pay attention Allah has really full knowledge thereof Allah knows everything explanation 145 i.e. the laws relating to marital relations, relating to marriage relations, a women's share in inheritance, in legacy, etc. A fatwa or ifta denotes, shows the clarification of a legal injunction given in reply, er, answer to a question. Correspondingly, the verb istaftahu means Uh, he asked him to give a legal decision or to inf enlighten, inform him about a particular law. Since the laws alluded meant 
to in the above passage have already been dealt with early in this surah, surah and nisa the repeated reference to them is meant to stress the great importance of the problems involved as well as the responsibility which men bear towards their physically weaker counterparts uh, weaker spouses in accordance with the system prevailing existing throughout the quran a lengthy passage long passage dealing with purely uh, exactly moral or ethical questions is usually as in the present case followed by verses relating to social legislation and this with a view to bringing out the intimate close connection between man's spiritual life and his social behavior explanation 146 chiefly verse 3 of this surah if you have reason to fear that you might not act equitably justly towards orphans and Aisha's explanation quoted in the corresponding coincident note verse number 128 <laughs> وَالصُّلْحُ خَيْرٌ وَأُحْضِرَتِ الْأَنْفُسُ الشُّحَّ وَإِنْ تُحْسِنُوا وَتَتَّقُوا فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ كَانَ بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ خَبِيرًا And if a woman has reason to fear ill treatment from her husband, or that he might turn away from her, it shall not be wrong for the two set things peacefully to rights between themselves, for peace is best, and selfishness is ever present in human souls but if you do good and are conscious of him behold God is indeed aware of all that you do and if a woman has reason to fear ill treatment uh, bad behaviors from her husband or that he might turn away from her it shall not be wrong it shall be true for the two to set things peacefully to rights uh, to solve things peacefully to rights between themselves for peace is best and selfishness is uh, existing every time in human souls but if you do good and are conscious of Allah pay attention Allah is really aware of everything verse number 129 وَلَنْ تَسْتَطِيعُوا أَنْ تَعْدِلُوا بَيْنَ النِّسَاءِ وَلَوْ حَرَصْتُمْ فَلَا تَمِيلُوا كُلَّ الْمَيْلِ فَتَذَرُوهَا فَتَذَرُوهَا كَالْمُعَلَّقَةِ وَإِنْ تُصْلِحُوا وَتَتَّقُوا فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ كَانَ غَفُورًا رَحِيمًا And it will not be within your power to treat your wives with equal fairness. However, much you may desire it and so do not allow yourselves to incline towards one of the exclusion of the other leaving her in a state as it were of having and not having a husband but if you put things to rights and are conscious of him behold god is indeed much forgiving a dispenser of grace and it will not be within your power energy to behave your wives with equal fairness however much you may desire it you you can't be successful exactly and so do not allow yourselves to incline towards one to the uh, leaving the other leaving her in a state as it were or of having and not having a husband she shouldn't be in a situation that she uh, she seems as if, as if she has no husband but if you put things to rights and uh, are conscious of Allah, if you obey Allah, uh, pay attention. Allah is really uh, forgives people and he gives his grace. Explanation 148. Literally, don't incline with all inclination, all tendency, i.e. towards one of the wives implying thereby an exclusion of the other from small affection. 
leaving her as it were in suspense kel muallaka in arabic regarding my rendering of this phrase see lane dictionary okay sorry i have forgotten to uh, mention explanation 147 uh, this refers to cases where a man has more than one wife a permission which is conditional upon his determination and ability to treat them with equal fairness as laid down as uh, described in verse 3 of this, this surah since a man who is fully conscious of his moral ethical responsibility might feel that he is committing a sin if he loves one of his wives more than the other or others the above verse provides a judicial forensic enlightenment uh, clarification on this point by making it clear that feelings are beyond a human being's control people can't control their feelings exactly in other words that the required equality of treatment relates only to outward uh, outward behavior in appearance behavior towards and practical dealings with one's wives however in view of the fact that a man's behavior towards another person is in the long run in time in course of time almost inevitably almost urgently influenced by what he feels about that person the above passage uh, read in conjunction with verse 3 what does it say verse 3 if you fear you can't act fairly towards the orphans then marry the woman you like two or three or four but if you fear you will not be fair then one or what you already have that it makes that makes it more likely that you avoid bias uh, clearquran.com and especially its concluding sentence imposes a moral ethical restriction limitation on plural marriages verse number 130 and if husband and wife to do separate god shall provide for each of them out of his abundance for god is indeed infinite wise and if husband and wife uh, do separate they divorce Allah shall uh, give for each of them out of his mercy for Allah is really endless uh, omniscient omniscient explanation 149 literally the two verse number 131 <laughs> وَلَقَدْ وَصَّيْنَا الَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْكِتَابَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ وَإِيَّاكُمْ أَنْ أَنْ اتَّقُوا اللَّهِ وَإِنْ تَكْفُرُوا فَإِنَّ لِلَّهِ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ وَكَانَ اللَّهُ غَنِيًّا حَمِيدًا And unto God belongs all that is in the heavens and all that is on earth. And indeed we have enjoined upon those who were granted revelation before your time as well as upon yourselves to remain conscious of God. And if you deny him, behold, unto God belongs all that is in the heavens and all that is on earth. And God is indeed self-sufficient ever to be praised. And unto Allah belongs everything, uh, what, uh, what is in the heavens and in this world. And really, uh, we have ordered uh, upon those people who were granted revelation before your time in all times as well as upon yourselves to remain conscious of God to obey Allah and if you deny Allah if you don't consider uh, Allah's orders pay attention uh, everything belongs to Allah uh, in the heavens and uh, on earth and really God is self-sufficient uh, he doesn't need anything and he should be praised only. Verse number 132 And unto God belongs all that is in the heavens and all that is on earth and none is, a, none is as worthy of trust as God. 
and everything belongs to Allah uh, in the heavens and on earth uh, and nothing is uh, as worthy of uh, trust as God. Explanation one uh, ex sorry uh, verse number 133 If he so wills he can cause you O mankind to disappear and bring forth other beings in your stead for God has indeed the power to do this. If Allah wants he can destroy you O people you become uh, disappeared and bring forth other people uh, in your stead. You go and they come. For Allah is has really the power to do this. He can do it easily. Verse number 134 dunya <laughs> If one desires the rewards of this world, let him remember that with God are the rewards of both this world and the life to come. And God is indeed all hearing, all seeing. If a person wants the rewards of this world, let him remember that with God, with Allah are the rewards, awards of both this world and the hereafter. And Allah is really, hears everything, sees everything. Verse number 135. Ya ayyuha al-lazina amanu kunu qawwameena bil-qist shuhada alillahi wa law ala anfusikum bil-walidayn wal-aqrabin in yakun ghaniyan aw faqiran faqiran fallahu awla bihima fala tattabi'u al-hawa an ta'adilu an ta'adilu wa in talvu أو تعرضوا فإن الله كان بما تعملون خبيرا. O you who have attained to faith, be ever steadfast in upholding equity, bearing witness to the truth for the sake of God, even though it be against your own selves or your parents and kinsfolk. Whether the person concerned be rich or poor, God's claim takes precedence over the claims of the of either of them. Don't do not then follow your own desires, lest you swerve from justice. For if you distort the truth, behold, God is indeed aware of all that you do. O believers, be ever firm in upholding justice, bearing witness to the truth for the sake of Allah. Although it it is against your own selves or your parents mothers and, and fathers and uh, relatives. Whether the person concerned be rich or poor, it doesn't matter. Allah's claim takes precedence. Uh, Allah's claim is over the claims of either of them. Do not then follow your own desires with the intention of uh, preventing, uh, preventing justice. You uh, you shouldn't distort uh, from justice. For if you uh, distort the truth, pay attention. Allah is really aware of all things. Explanation 150. I.e. do not allow the fact that a man is rich to prejudice, uh, to bias you in his favor, support or against him. And do not out of misplaced, missing compassion, missing mercy, favor the poor man at the expense of the truth. Verse number 136. <laughs> الذي نزل على رسوله والكتاب الذي أنزل من قبل ومن يكفر بالله وملائكته وكتبه ورسله واليوم الآخر فقد ضل ضلالا بعيدا O oh, you who have attained to faith, hold fast unto your belief in God and his apostle 
and in the divine writ which he has bestowed from on high upon his apostle, step by step, as well as in the revelation which he sent down aforetime, for he who denies God and his angels and his revelations and his apostles and the last day has indeed gone far astray. O believers, keep firm uh, in your belief in Allah and uh, his messenger and in the uh, divine scripture which he has given from on high upon his messenger uh, step by step as well as in the revelation which he sent down in previous times. For he who takes no notice of God and his angels and his revelations, his books and his messengers and the last day, the hereafter, he has really gone far error. Explanation 151. What is meant here is belief in the fact of earlier revelation. For example, the gospel, uh, the uh, Old Testament, etc. And not in the earlier revealed scriptures in their present form, which as repeatedly stated in the Quran is the outcome, outcome of, result of, far-reaching corruption of the original texts. So uh, the uh, texts uh, of the Old Testament, the New Testament are uh, corrupted. Explanation 152. Since it is through the beings of beings or forces described as angels that God conveys, delivers his revelations to the prophets, messengers, belief in angels is correlated, is linked with belief in revelation as such. Verse number 137. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا ثُمَّ كَفَرُوا ثُمَّ آمَنُوا ثُمَّ كَفَرُوا ثُمَّ ازْدَادُوا كُفْرًا لَمْ يَكُنِ اللَّهُ لِيَغْفِرَ لَهُمْ وَلَا لِيَهْدِيَهُمْ سَبِيلًا Behold, as for those who come to believe and then deny the truth and again come to believe and again deny the truth and thereafter grow stubborn in their denial of the truth, God will not forgive them nor Will he guide them in any way? Pay attention as for those people who believe and then they disbelieve and again they believe and again they disbelieve and thereafter grow stubborn in their uh, refusal of the truth. Allah will not forgive them nor will he show them the right way. Explanation uh, 153 literary increase in a denial of the truth verse number 138 and also though to such hypocrites that grievous suffering awaits them make clear you to such double-faced people that heavy uh, grief uh, waits for them verse number uh, 139 الذين يتخذون الكافرين أولياء من دون المؤمنين يبتغون عندهم العزة فإن العزة لله جميعا As for those who take the deniers of the truth for their allies in preference to the believers, do they hope to be honored by them when behold all honor belongs to God alone? As for those people who take the uh, disbelievers of the truth for their friends in preference to Muslims do they hope to be honored by them when uh, pay attention all honor belongs to Allah alone explanation 154 see uh, the chapter Ali Imran in uh, verse number 28 however the term allies awliya singular wali does not indicate, show, in this context, merely political alliances. More than anything else, it is obviously, clearly, alludes, man, means, to a moral alliance with the deniers of the truth. That's to say, namely, to an adoption of their uh, acceptance of their way of life in preference to the way of life of the believers. 
in the hope of being honored or accepted as equals by the former, since an imitation of the way of life of confirmed unbelievers, uh, non-Muslims, most obviously clearly conflict with the moral principles demanded, requested by true faith. So Muslims uh, shouldn't try to uh, be like non-Muslims. It unavoidably, inescapably leads to a gradual, slow abandonment, uh, denying of those principles. Verse number 140. وَقَدْ نَزَّلَ عَلَيْكُمْ فِي الْكِتَابِ أَنْ إِذَا سَمِعْتُمْ أَنْ إِذَا سَمِعْتُمْ آيَاتِ اللَّهِ يُكْفَرُ بِهَا وَيُسْتَهْزَأُ بِهَا فَلَا تَقْعُدُوا مَعْهُمْ حَتَّى يَخُوضُوا فِي حَدِيثٍ غَيْرِهِ إِنَّكُمْ إِذَا مِثْلُهُمْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ جَامِعُ الْمُنَافِقِينَ وَالْكَافِرِينَ فِي جَهَنَّمَ جَمِيعًا and indeed he has enjoined upon you in this divine writ that whenever you hear people deny the truth of God's messages and mock at them, you shall avoid their company until they be begin uh, they begin to talk uh, of other things. Or else, verily, you will become like them. Behold, together with those who deny the truth, God will gather in hell the hypocrites. And really... He has ordered upon you in this uh, divine scripture that whenever you hear people refuse the truth of Allah's messages and tease at them, you shall, you shall uh, leave them, leave their company until they start to talk of other things. Or else, verily, indeed, you will become like those disbelievers. Pay attention, together with those who refuse the truth, Allah will make, make them uh, to, uh, together, Allah will bring them together in uh, hell, the hypocrites. Explanation 155. Literally, you shall not sit with them until they immerse themselves, until they involve themselves in talk other than this. The injunction, teaching, referred to is found available in uh, the chapter 6 Surah Al-An'am uh, verse number uh, 68 what does it say when you encounter those who gossip about our revelations turn away from them until they engaged in, engage in another topic but should Satan make you forget do not sit after the recollection with the wicked people uh, clearquran.com which was revealed at a much earlier period. So uh, these two verses uh, ban, ban Muslims from uh, being in a place where people uh, mock Islam. Verse number 141 الَّذِينَ يَتَرَبَّسُونَ بِكُمْ فَإِنْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فَتْحٌ مِّنَ اللَّهِ قَالُوا أَلَمْ نَكُمْ مَعَكُمْ وَإِنْ كَانَ لِلْكَافِرِينَ نَصِيبٌ قَالُوا أَلَمْ نَسْتَحْفِذْ أَلَمْ نَسْتَحْفِذْ عَلَيْكُمْ وَنَمْنَعْكُمْ مِنَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ فَاللَّهُ يَحْكُمُ بَيْنَكُمْ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ وَلَنْ يَجْعَلَ اللَّهُ لِلْكَافِرِينَ عَلَى الْمُؤْمِنِينَ سَبِيلًا Who but wait to see what betides you? Thus if triumph comes to you from God, they say, were we not on your side? Whereas if those who deny the truth are in luck, they say to them, Have we not earned your affection by defending you against those believers? But God will judge between you all on the day of resurrection, and never will God allow those who deny the truth to harm the believers. Who but wait to see what uh, occurs to you? Thus, if victory comes to you, from Allah, they say, were we not on your side, were we not uh, supporting you? Whereas if those people who deny the truth are in luck, they say to them, have we not earned your affection, your love, your, uh, your love, okay, by defending you against those believers? Explanation uh, 
one uh, but uh, sorry but god will judge between you all on the uh, hereafter uh, on the day of uh, resurrection in the hereafter and never will allah allow those people who deny the truth islam to harm the believers explanation 156 literally did we not gain mastery over you mastery superiority over you i.e over your hearts chief lay dictionary and uh, defend you against the believers the term believers has obviously clearly a sarcastic ironic biting implication here which justifies which proves right the use of the demonstrative pronoun those instead of the definite article the explanation 157 this announcement this proclamation notification has of course a purely uh, spiritual meaning and does not necessarily apply to the changing fortunes of life since as this ver uh, very verse points out shows those who deny the truth may on occasion be in luck that's to say may gain temporal temporary supremacy superiority over the believers verse number 142 in al munafiqeen yukhadi'oon allah wa huwa khadi'uhum wa idha qamu ila salat fa iqamu kusala yura'oon al nas wa la yadhkuroon allah illa qalila behold the hypocrites seek to deceive god the while it is he who causes them to be deceived by themselves and when they rise to pray they rise reluctantly only to be seen and praised by men remembering god but seldom pay attention double faced uh, the double faced people uh, try to deceive allah during that time uh, allah who causes them to be deceived by themselves and when they rise to pray uh, salah they rise uh, unwillingly only to be seen and praised by men they disconsider allah they consider people's uh, attitudes and behaviors remembering god but seldom they seldom uh, remember god explanation 158 some of the commentators for example razi interpret comment the phrase who were literally he is their deceiver as he, he will requit he will pay back he will take revenge them for their deception deceiving however the rendering adopted accepted by me muhammad said seems to me to be more in tune with in harm in harmony with uh, the chapter bakara verse number nine where the same type of hypocrisy is spoken of is mentioned they would deceive god and those who have attained to faith the while they deceive none but themselves and are not aware of it see also menar tefsir uh, volume uh, seven sorry volume five and uh, page number 469 where both these interpretations are considered to be mutually complementary, mutually integral. Verse number 143. Wavering between this and that, true neither to these nor those, but for him whom God lets go astray, thou canst never find any way. Swinging between this and that, true neither to these nor those, but for him whom Allah lets go astray, you can never find any way. Verse number 144. يا أيها الذين آمنوا لا تتخذوا الكافرين أولياء من دون المؤمنين أتريدون أن تجعلوا لله عليكم سلطانا مبينا 
O oh, you who have attained to faith, do not take the deniers of the truth for your allies in preference to the believers. Do you want to place before God a manifest proof of your guilt? O oh, believers, do not take the de uh, deniers of the truth for your allies, for your friends, in preference uh, rather than the believers. Do you want do you want to place in front of Allah a clear proof of your guilt? Explanation 159. Literary a manifest proof against yourselves. See note on verse 139 above. Verse number 145. In al munafiqina fi dark al asfali min al nar, walan tajid lahum nasira. But accepted shall be they who repent and live righteously and hold fast unto God and grow sincere in their faith in God alone. For these shall be one with the believers and in time God will grant to all believers a mighty reward. Sorry, I uh, have read uh, verse number 145. I should really uh, have uh, read verse number 146 now i'm reading but accepted shall be they who uh, vow not to do it again and live fairly and Hold fast, keep firm unto Allah and grow sincere from the heart in their uh, loyalty to Allah uh, alone. For these shall be one with the believers and in course of time Allah will give to all believers a big award. Verse number 147. Uh, sorry, I forgot to read uh, verse number 145. And I didn't explain it. Now I will read and explain. Uh, Verily, the hypocrites shall be in the lowest depth of the fire, and thou wilt find none who could succor them. Indeed, the double-faced people shall be in the uh, deepest of the part of the fire, hell, and you will find nobody who could help them. Verse number 147. ما يفعل الله بعذابكم إن شكرتم وآمنوا وآمنتم وكان الله شاكرا عليما. Why would God cause you to suffer for your past sins if you are grateful and attain to believe, seeing that God is always responsive to gratitude, all knowing? Why would Allah let you to suffer? for your past sins if you are grateful and uh, achieve to believe seeing that Allah is always uh, gives gratitude gives his mercy and he knows everything explanation 160 the gratitude uh, thankfulness spoken of here mentioned here is of a general nature a feeling of thankfulness for being alive and endowed uh, and endowed with and has what is described as a soul a feeling which often leads men to the realis realization that uh, this boon of life this blessing of life and consciousness is not accidental and thus in a logical process of thought to believe in god to believe in allah according to zamakhshari this is the reason why gratitude is placed before belief in the structure of the above sentence.